Uh, I'm making a short video to tell you how you can live a life with diabetes and without medicines. Most of us who suffer from diabetes, blood pressure are very heavily dependent on medicines, but there's a way out. And I have very successfully experimented that way out and I would like to share that with you. Firstly, let us understand what diabetes is in layman terms. Diabetes, in my view, is the inability of our body to neutralize sugar to a normal level after we consume food. The sugar floats in the blood, circulates in the blood and results in a spike and then consequently it shows up in your blood test. <clears throat> in a normal person, the sugar neutralizes or normalizes on its own but for diabetics this doesn't happen so what do we do the normal typical advice we get uh, when we are diagnosed with this condition is that doctors tell us to you know have a balanced diet proper diet with less carbohydrates and things like that and then you know obviously exercise what is recommended in exercise is a walk 30 minutes 150 minutes a week and then medication. But my experience has shown me that most people end up doing exercise, controlling diet, everything, but still they are dependent on medication and medication worsens over a period of years. But you have, it keeps on adding up. Two years back, I embarked on a journey. I realized that, you know, I'll go off the medication provided, you know, I have a proper diet and a workout format. So what I thought, what I have done is that, and how I've benefited is that first get a good handle on your food and diet. You should know well that what food is responsible for sugar spikes. A lot of people think chapati is good. In most cases, chapati is as bad as rice. So you should know that what food is causing these sugar spikes, and then obviously eat in a way that gives you balanced nutrition as well as controls your blood sugar so more of proteins more of vegetables more of legumes dals less of carbohydrates is an ideal combination now when it comes to the exercise normally what we do is we do a morning workout evening workout the whole day we are static so simple things through this video what i want to show you is and I, that has benefited me a lot are micro workouts and what are micro workouts no, I, I do this. Today in our city, Hyderabad is raining. Going out and doing workout is not possible. I had a regular breakfast today. Came to the office in a small room. I have got my gadgets, a pair of dumbbells, ropes, uh, planks and exit, small things. Five to 10 minutes of those workout. You can see here on your screen where you involve your lower limbs by you know, doing squats, lunges, then your abs, your core, either you can plank, push-ups, and then use a bit of dumbbells, weights. Now, weight training is very important, regardless of your age. People have a mindset that if you are 40 plus or in 50s, you no, know, you shouldn't lift. It is very critical. Your body on its own loses weight naturally. It's very important that you bring build your muscle mass back. So light weights, either you do shoulders, biceps, as you see here, five to 10 minutes and then test your blood sugar. <clears throat> you can see my results. I'm sharing with you my post perennial blood sugar over a period of last, you know, say a few weeks. You can see it for yourself. It has helped me immensely. So I recommend this format, smart eating, micro workouts, every hour, every second hour, more so after breakfast, after lunch and after dinner, will make a hell of a lot of a difference. You can try it out. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to talk to you offline. Thank you.